We're really going to have to step it up if we want to get past the next qualifying round, Chris. Right now, Team Hurricane has everyone on the ropes. You don't have to remind me. This competition is wide open. Guys, we're still the Drakers. It's great that Team Hurricane has had some success, but we've got the best drivers, and if I may say so, the best cars. Other teams should be worrying about us. You're right, Moran. We're still in the lead, but our opponents can now take advantage of any weaknesses we have. Well, we just have to make sure we don't have any weaknesses. I like this newfound confidence of yours, Fabry. Let's put it to the test. They're having fun. That's a good sign, gentlemen. Okay, guys, that's enough for today. Bring the cars back into the garage so we can tune them up. We'll be there in a second. Hey! You're trying to pass me, Chris? Let's see who gets there first. You want a challenge, huh? I'll be back there so fast I'll be having lunch with Uncle John when you pull in. Huh? Hold on, on tight. tight. Maximum, Maximum power. power. Hmm. Yeehaw! Just try not to damage the cars, kids. We're just putting on a little show for the fans. Hector's waiting for us in the office. He's been acting strangely these past few days, don't you think? Hey, are you listening to me? Sorry, I was thinking about Lolly. What else? She hasn't returned your calls? This has got to be a tough time for her and Kabir. Let's hope they get back into the Super Trophy. Listen, Lolly, complaining isn't going to get you anywhere. You gotta learn to relax. Relax? Kabir! Don't you realize that we're out of the race? You should be as upset as I am. I am! But I'm not like you. I want to race because it's fun. That's it. Nothing more. You want to race because you're competitive with everyone. Our team ranking would be much higher if you acted more like me for a change. What are you suggesting? It's not my fault that the Super Trophy of Africa didn't go well for us. Oh, it isn't, huh? Give me a break. Maybe if you hadn't decided to help out that rat Tony Parker when he was in trouble. I'm not sorry I did that. And I would do it again. In a second. We were one step away from getting a new X card until you screwed it up for us. You know, I don't even know you anymore. You're getting way too ambitious. All you care about is winning. Be careful that no one sees you when you leave here. Don't worry, Hector. I came in through gate 9 and there was no one around. I'll go the same way. I look forward to any news you might have. I gotta tell you, though, I still need a little more time for my investigation. I know, and I'm sorry I suspected you. You weren't involved in hacking Chris's X-Tab. Consider it water under the bridge, but when this is over, I want to return to Drakers with a clean record. Can I count on you, pal? Of course. With pleasure. See you soon. Very good, Lazarus. You men are making excellent progress. I'm glad to know that the testing phase has officially begun. Now you'll work day and night. We'll soon be able to test the effects of x raw modified with Z-rays on a human. Hmm. Of course, it's still unstable. Mr. Gotan, Young's arrived. As much as I'd like to discuss the wonders of Exral, I have business to take care of. Do carry on. We must begin experimenting on humans as soon as possible. I understand. Mr. Gotan, do you have someone in particular you want us to experiment on? A very interesting question, Oliver. And if you must know, yes. Track one of the Super Trophy of North America. It looks really difficult. It is. 
Oh. We have to take those curves at 80 miles an hour? That's the least of our problems. The track also has a tunnel. And there could be some surprises in there. Hmm. Hmm? It's Lolly. She's returning my call. Thanks, Hector. I understand. I'd better be going. See you around. Hmm. What's with Chris? He's got his mind on a certain girl. Trust me, the hot chocolate here is to die for. Thanks. This is a cute restaurant. Chris, I'm so glad you invited me out this afternoon, but I've been so frustrated lately. You're very lucky. Drakers is the team to be on. Of course, Kabir wouldn't understand. Frustrations with the family? I want you to see something, but no one else can know about this. Who's it from? It's from my father, but I'm afraid to open it. And you want me to do it? Mm-hmm. Okay. To my beloved daughter, Lolly. I'm writing to you because we haven't spoken for so long. I believe I owe you an explanation. What I'm about to say may seem... The hottest rising star in racing today is Ed Mitchell. I'm very happy with the acquisition of Mitchell. He's a step in the right direction. Our other two drivers are also excellent. I don't doubt Tony Parker's abilities. The question is, what do we do about Cliff Gibbon? He's a problem. We don't need three drivers and we're not in the charity business. We could sell his contract to another team. There's also the matter of Cliff Gibbon knowing that I own the team. We must get rid of him. And we must get rid of him permanently. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? I have an idea. While Gibbon may be useful to the team, he might be useful to the advancement of science. I'd like to use him as a test subject. I want my scientists to study the effects of X-Rol modified with Z-rays on Cliff Gibbon's body. You what? Prolonged exposure to modified x roll may have the welcome side effect of erasing a subject's memory. Think of it as Cliff's insurance policy. Surely you don't mean... Bye-bye, Cliff Gibbon. I'm innocent, Lolly, and I'm paying for someone else's crime, and nobody cares. The world thinks Lakesh Shuri, the former champion, is guilty of rigging races. My success on the track led to jealousy, and someone set me up to take the fall. I was so ambitious, I just couldn't see it coming. I don't want you to suffer as I have. You've already suffered enough. I love you, and I only want the best for you. Love, your father. Maybe my father is right. Maybe I should just give up racing. Lolly, what are you saying? Your dad only feels like that because he was betrayed by the sport and by the fans. Yeah, but all I'm doing is collecting failures. You can't just give up like that. What about everything you've practiced for? And your team is counting on you. You're very sweet that in chasing my father's dreams to become a champion, I'm only hurting him and my brother. In the long run, maybe these races aren't really worth the pain they cause. Give yourself one last chance. If at the end of the Super Trophy of North America, you're not on your way to becoming a champion, then walk away from it. I'd probably do the same. Welcome to the famous City Slam track, racing fans. The Super Trophy of North America could not have picked a better place to showcase its home team. Stan Murphy of Team Hurricane clocks in at a remarkable minute and 26 seconds. And only a tenth of a second behind him, it's Ed Mitchell for Team Black Ghost. But someone is passing all of the racers with ease. It's Zach, the mysterious new driver for Team Hurricane. Hold on, it looks like Team Black Ghosts and Mitchell may have a trick up his sleeve. Here he comes. Mitchell has dominated the media's coverage of this race while teammate Tony Parker has to settle for sixth place. Tony who again? That windbag is full of nothing but hot air, right Tony? You know the quickest way huh? to deflate a windbag? You have to puncture it. So, you still love the racing world, eh, John? Wonderful how racing can still capture the imagination of the young. 
It's important to them. But about this mystery, any thoughts? As a matter of fact, I do, John. Here, allow me to explain. As a scholar of pictograms and symbols, understanding the flying perfect circle has always been at the forefront of my research. Perfect circle? So you do know something about this, don't you, Nicholas? It's very valuable. You should keep it safe. Have you ever heard of the circle of the future? I might have read about it once. Wasn't it some kind of cult? I'd call it an ancient secret society, active from the start of the 20th century. What? A secret society? We all know about the futurist art movement, but very few know of the existence of the Circle of the Future Ibri, formed around the same time, partly because its members wished to remain in the shadows. We know that they were great craftsmen, particularly when it came to mechanical devices. I've only seen blueprints of their automobiles, but they were far and away the most forward-thinking artisans of their era. Imagine if that great society existed today. Given the great technological advancements in this decade alone, there's no telling what kind of automobiles they might be designing. Of course, no one is certain if the future Ibili continues. There is only speculation and rumor. That's the best you could expect from a secret society. But this secret society you speak of, what is it that they were dedicated to? Research indicates that they were dedicated to the pursuit of true magic, and their members celebrated modernity and speed, the Futuris Horribilis. Their name was, in fact, a contradiction of two Latin words indicating that they perceived the future as extraordinary and surprising. Hmm. But what about this perfect circle? Is it fundamentally important? The Flying Perfect Circle was symbolic of their desire to steer the future as masters of humanity. Each member took an oath to the Circle, and their sole purpose was to strengthen the Secret Society's power and influence. I wonder what all this has to do with the Drakers, and the sudden disappearance of Bob and Luke Rivera. I don't know, my friend. It's still too early to tell. But I can tell you that the discovery of a Flying Perfect Circle indicates that perhaps the future Billy never disbanded at all. Perhaps this secret society exists to this day, and its followers are here somewhere, lurking in the shadows. A massive crowd has gathered here at the City Slam racetrack for today's race. Team Hurricane is certainly the crowd's favorite. Fans of the home team expect a win today. A new and exciting challenge is about to begin for all the drivers in this Formula Kids division race. Back to you, Jim. Zach in the pole position, Stan Murphy in second, Ed Mitchell of Team Black Coast in third, Drakers drivers Bravo and Morelli are in the second row. And behind them, Tony Parker of Team Black Coast and Lolly and Kabir Sori of the Tigers. Here we go, our young drivers have pressed their X-Tabs, special controllers that help to maneuver their cars. Kabir, it's now or never. What do you mean? Either you join us on the podium, or you go back home where you belong. Lolly, wait a minute. Activate X-Racer. Yeah. <laughs> we, we are, are the Drakers. Contact, switching ignition on. Contact and setup is complete. Car Brandon, Bravo is in Moran, and Mitchell in Shadow. Try to get ahead of the curve, Bobby. I'll give you some space. Okay, I'll try. I just can't do it. Stan won't let me pass him. Way to go, Stan. Don't let that Draker's car get the best of you out there. Sensors indicate a loss of aerodynamics in Stan's car, Scorpio. No, not now. Okay, run a diagnostic on it. Watch out, Chris. Mitchell is pushing. And he's beating you by a tenth of a second. Ed Mitchell is about to pass you on your right. I'll try to keep him at bay, but there's not much I can do on this part of the track. Chris Bravo is not just going to let you take his position. Don't do anything we'll regret. Don't worry, Coach. I can handle that guy. Ugh. Bravo won't let Mitchell get by him. X-Guard power, download stun. That was close, Chris. Oh, no. That Ed Mitchell. He used an X-Card. Tell me about it, and if I slow down, I'll be a sitting duck out here. I'll be waiting for you at the finish line. 
We've been hit. Reduce speed. But Ed Mitchell will pass us. Chris Bravo is on the ropes. Ed Mitchell of Team Black Ghost cruises into second place. It's still early in the race. Come on, Lolly, floor it. Lolly is sure making excellent time. Lolly Suri is showing us a better performance in the middle of the track, 29 and 3 tenths of a second. Look out, Tony, Lolly's gaining on you. Come on, wow, Lolly, that Lolly you Suri is a real tiger. Lolly Suri is clawing her way back. Lolly, you have to do something. Do what? Just forget it. X car time. It's too early in the race. We only have two of them. It's not too early. It's too late. Think, Lolly. If we're eliminated from this race, we'll never move on to the next round. X car rush. Mega sprint. I'm through with thinking. It's time for action. Nice comeback for Lolly Suri. She used an X car rush. Wait a minute, Zach from Team Hurricane has to make a pit stop. Looks like he needed a new set of tires. Meanwhile, Kabir Suri has his sights set on passing Stan Murphy. Nevado, something's wrong. I'll have our technicians check it out. Kabir, it's time to gamble away our last X-Rush car. I need you to keep level-headed, unlike your sister. I'm not going to be eliminated from this round. X-Card Rush, rocket engine. Incredible! Kabir Suri is playing an X card that will allow him to leap over his opponents and move into fourth place. I'm happy for you, Kabir, but I'm not going to let you win. Murphy's having engine trouble. If Cliff did what I asked, Ed's in for a big surprise. You're slowing down. Oh no, the wheel alignment. Warning, ah. stability compromised. Ah. Reduce speed. Loss of pressure to the left rear tire. Reduce speed. But I thought you were checked out thoroughly. Warning, stability compromised. Reduce speed. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ed Mitchell of Team Black Ghost is off the track. Thanks, Cliff. Tampering with that tire valve was the perfect way to pop that pompous windbag. That's it for Ed Mitchell. He's forced to throw in the towel. But this race is far from over. Lolly's really going all out. And there. she's given Chris Bravo a run for his money. Sandra, I can't catch up to Lolly. Tell me when to use the X card. Not yet, Chris. You can handle this. Kabir has a slight advantage over Fabri. Fabri, get into the slipstream. You've got to try to take advantage of it. The battle between Lolly Suri and Chris Bravo may prove more exciting than who will finish first. Contact between the Tigers and Drakers cars. That's all the risk we can afford right now, Chris. Pull back. We're closing in on the last lap. OK, I'll maintain position. Here comes the final lap. And now, Kabir Suri is back in the mix, joining his sister in a tiger hunt. Fabri, watch out for Kabir Suri. I can take care of it. Sorry, Fabri, but I promised my sister that this time I wouldn't show any mercy. It's a fight for first and second place. Lolly is leading and Bravo pushes his car to the max. Bravo is no match for Lolly Suri. Then again, you can never really count him out. In second place, Kabir in third, Fabri in fourth, Zach in fifth, Tony in sixth, and Ed Mitchell and Stan Murphy have been eliminated. Great race, Lolly and Kabir. Same to you, Chris. Finally, bonus X roll and new X cards for the Tigers. Well done, kids. I bet your father would be proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> for telling me to never give up and giving me a darn good fight. <laughs> I was aiming to win. You've already won. 
Heck yeah! A sad day for Team Hurricane, but there's always the next race. Team Black Ghost only made it to the next round thanks to Tony Parker's efforts. <sighs> Too bad. You were doing pretty well, Ed. Don't patronize me, Parker. Hey, all that matters is that our team made it to the next round. Yeah, sure. Don't feel so bad, Ed. But you should cut down the bragging. Gibbon, you should have seen his face. I've never seen anyone so depressed in my life. Excellent work. Mitchell got what he deserved, right? Though I gotta admit, it kind of felt like I was being watched. Hmm? Unity is strength, Gibbon, and together we're gonna chase Mitchell right out of Team Black Ghost. Understand? You and I are partners. Are you with me, my friend? Like always, Tony. Right. Yep, it's me, all right. Did you guys miss me? <laughs> oh, see you, dude. You too, my man. <laughs> hey, actor, what's going on? I wanted to tell you before the race. I didn't want either of you to lose focus, but now you should know. Know what? For a while now, Mike has been investigating a certain someone. Someone who sabotaged Drakers. I don't have all the pieces, but the puzzle is solved. Huh? 